is, you know, if it's $5.99 to just invest in yourself and in your business in order for your content to be stellar, I would definitely advise that you do that. House of Beauty, this is Cutie. What's poppin'? We don't take no oil. Hey, cuties. Welcome back to my channel. So, I get a lot of requests on Instagram for people, like, asking me what I do as far as, like, marketing and advertising. So, I thought I'd come on here and show you guys one of the ways that I finesse and finagle um, my story times for Instagram, just like promoting either for Winked or promoting for um, my YouTube channel. So, um, if you're interested in that, definitely keep on watching. Okay, cuties. So, marketing is super important and there's definitely free ways to do it. So, two applications that we're going to use for this tutorial is the Mojo app and the Insta Stories app. And we're going to start with the Insta Stories. This is just how to make your Instagram stories like that much more appealing. So, um, when you open it up, it has all of these different templates, different styles that you can choose from. Um, you know, you want to go through and see, you know, which one is best for you. Um, as you can see, there's some food ones that are good for food bloggers, some art ones. Um, they can even do like Women's Day type things or um, if you're doing a sale for your clothing. So I'm going to go back to the all category. They do have a templates category. So if you favorite something, it'll go to this section. But I'm going to go back to the all category. And I saw a really nice one that has like a Google search engine. So I'm going to click that. Um, this is going to be, like I said, for a story. So I'm going to click story and then click next. Um, you're going to want to tap to add your own media. So I already have like a picture that I want. I'm just going to go get that. So then they add it. And I want this to be if someone is like searching for like newborn stuff. So I'm just going to size it to the screen. And then I'm going to edit the um, search bar. Um, just something related to like newborns, like, you know, what are some essentials for newborns, things like that, things that people typically search. Okay, so after that's um, in place, I'm just going to click the um, pencil tool at the bottom and it's going to open up some different um, ways to edit the video i'm going to click on sticker and stickers are basically like gifs that you can add to your video um so i'm going to add this arrow just because i want to emphasize that i did um, have a new upload i'm just going to choose the color black um, so i can keep everything um, cohesive After I finish putting that into place, I'm going to go back into that sticker tab, go under the geometry um, tab, and uh, click to get a circle because I just want to um, make the newest video a focal point, so I just want to emphasize that with um, a circle. After I select the circle, I'm just going to change the color to match the logo of my House of Beauty logo at the top because I just want to keep everything in the same uh, color scheme. Um, so it's just easier for uh, viewers to kind of recognize certain things about my videos. So after this, I'm just changing the intensity of the circle. I still want you to see um, other video elements behind it. So I didn't want it to be... Um, so loud just a more subtle circle so you can just see me just adjusting that once i'm finished with that i did notice that the um, search engine part is slower than like the circle and the arrow so i just go under the pencil tool again go to timeline and i just want to adjust the the timeline of the circle and the arrow so that they show up after um, someone search what are some you know newborn essentials and after i've adjusted everything i just um pull the uh, playback line back so i can just make sure that um it shows up how i want it to after everything is in place like how i want it to be there is an icon at the top that has an eye and it kind of um, just lets you view what it's going to look like to your viewers before you actually export it and save it to your phone um, so I just 
ran through that really quickly and then after everything is good i'm just going to export it i always save to my camera roll never to instagram just in case something happens or it doesn't look right um and that is that okay guys yeah that's one way using insta stories and now we're going to go into the uh mojo app and just like insta stories mojo has a bunch of different templates they're kind of like i prefer them less just because they um they have a lot of pro templates but they don't have a lot of free templates um but anyways we're just going to go to one of my favorites it's the food the picture of like the burger or whatever um i really like this one um it really emphasizes a lot of videos i'm just going to go in and click um the media that i want to add to it um it's similar to the media that i had in the insta stories um application so on this one um this is just going to tell people i kind of just wanted to tell people to subscribe and kind of emphasize the new video it's going to show the other videos that i have but i'm just kind of dragging it in so that it does emphasize the newest video that i've uploaded um after i've adjusted that i'm just going to move down to the um text part and just let people know that there's a new video alert um, kind of similar, um, the similar style that I kind of post for all of my other um, Insta story uploads when I do have a new video. And like I said, I want this to emphasize I want more subscribers. So I'm just going to type in subscribers, make that um, large and make it in a more legible font or not font, but more of a legible color for people to know, like that's the call to action that I want. Um so I'm just playing it back to see how it looks. I think subscribe could be a little bigger. So um, I'm just going to drag that out and just make it bigger for my audience to see it. So yeah, after I've adjusted it, I'm just going to play it back just to make sure that it looks the way um, that I want it to. And after that, um, I'm sure it does. It has an eye icon just like the Insta Stories at the top where you can just play it back. Um, after that, I'm going to save it to my camera log. Um, and then both of these videos will be ready to go um, for me to upload them to Instagram or Twitter, any social media platforms where I want to you know, broadcast to my audience that I have a new video. So voila, I hope this video was informative um, and that you guys learned some tips and tricks just for that can hold you over with the, you know, the free usages of those apps um, for the next couple of months. But like I said before, if you are serious about your business, about your platform, about your channel or whatever it is that you may be doing, definitely invest in yourself um because like i said you can only get so far on the free applications um but i thank you guys for watching this video like comment and subscribe to my channel to your friends friends and your baby mamas about my channel because we need to grow the subscribers watch another video you ain't got nothing to do because of quarantined so help me out okay i love y'all and i'll see y'all in my next video almost forgot the winner for the newborn baby clothes package that comes with wipes and diapers and a bottle is <laughs> yay thank you so much um i really appreciate you um i will be um contacting you very soon just to get information so that i can ship the baby clothes off um like I said, continue to watch, subscribe, and like all my videos. Go actually watch another video. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.